4 p.m. Today's vlog is starting super late. I've been busy working all morning. Gonna hit the gym for a push workout. Back on my narration game, here in the gym starting my push workout with bench press. I was feeling tired today, you know, after that crazy day of activities that I did yesterday. Energy levels were down. So what I did was, I still wanted to do this push workout, but I dropped all the uh, intensity down. I brought the weight down of what I was lifting and went for more of a pump, kind of just a blood flow workout, which is good. If you're tired, you can still go to the gym, but maybe don't try and hit the numbers, especially on your big lifts, your money lifts. So my strength lifts and my push workout are gonna be my bench press, this one, and even on this, I needed a bit of help. And this was lighter than I normally do. Onto the weighted dips, and here I wasn't doing reverse pyramid as I normally would do, just like the bench press. I dropped the weight down, and here I'm uh, dipping 24 kilos for 10 reps. I did five sets of this, and it was easier than doing my really, really heavy stuff, but also because I was fatigued, I still found it quite hard. But it was a good blood pumper, a good muscle pumper, and I burned some calories, so boom. Here I am hitting incline dumbbell press. I just did four sets of this, 55 pounds each side. And this is normally my hypertrophy kind of muscle building work anyway. Um, I was going for around eight to 10 reps. And on my first set, I squeezed out nine reps. Um, and on the subsequent sets, I did around eight reps. So I did four sets in total of this and kept it nice and light. But even this felt a little bit tough because I was lagging. Last exercise of the day, and I'm just sharing this machine with two other people. Here I'm doing rope push downs, medium weight, three sets of 12, classic little bodybuilding pump. And kept this workout light, easy. Um, I didn't have the strength to go hard, so gave myself a break. Still got a pump in, still felt good, and still burned some calories. 9 p.m. Today's vlog has been super short and the reason being that I've been so busy dealing with clients all day, uh, sorting out these new programs that are coming up in the next few months. And I'm just finishing off my steps. Uh, even though it's late, it's like 9.30ish, I make sure every day that I get 10,000 steps in. That's a non-negotiable. Obviously, a workout if I can and 10,000 steps. And 10,000 steps is a really, really easy way to burn like three, 400 calories. And so many people kind of neglect it or they don't want to hear it because it's not sexy right it's not like this amazing hit workout that's going to get you shredded really fast and um, you know you're jumping around like a lunatic doing all these burpees here's the thing about those hit workouts it's clever marketing they're not going to get you shredded really fast the afterburn effect is a load of rubbish so don't believe that with your steps it's like chipping away at fat loss every single day taking three four hundred calories off a deficit that you're already in will add up over time and I barely do any cardio. The only cardio I really do is I might go for a run, might do some hill sprints, but it's more for the mental benefits. I don't like doing cardio. I just like walking. So I walk as much as possible. It's easy, it's effortless. It burns calories, keeps you in that deficit. So if you're not doing 10K steps every day, you better start. Okay, gonna go home, hit the sack. See you tomorrow. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is